Hi TG gang, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is product focus. I had asked a couple of you, uh, well most of you that answered, if you wanted me to do more product focus reviews or brand house focus reviews. So today's focus is a couple of products from Lancome. It's basically not their whole range. Um, I know I didn't do the eye tutorial in this video and if you guys want me to recreate this look then definitely comment down below. So I'm going to be reviewing their setting powder which I got in the shade Deep, their Lancome Fix It Forget It um, uh, makeup setting powder and their two concealers and I think that's about it Yeah, I will not be focusing on my entire face so basically my foundation and my eyeshadow were done in this video but you can see me finish off the rest of my face and if you're interested in anything else please don't forget to comment down below and I will definitely try and get to that video for you so if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look then carry on watching much love Okay, so my makeup is somewhat half done. Like, I was struggling to figure out what eye look I wanted to do, and then I just sat here and then I pulled out a palette. So, um, for my eyes, I used the Zulu palette, and I only used these three shades at the bottom here. So, you guys should let me know if you want me to recreate this eyeshadow look. And then for my foundation, if you guys just want to know what I'm wearing, I'm wearing the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Marquises. And uh, my lashes are still drying, you'll see a bit of white. So now I am going to go in with the first um, concealer, which is the, the shade number 13 in Sienna. Okay, so you guys can see that right now my face looks flat. It looks not like, how do I say it? Not defined. So that's basically what contouring and highlighting your face does. And we do this with, well, I prefer doing this with cream products. Some people prefer doing this with powder, but especially for your highlighting, I always recommend um, a cream product. So I am gonna be going in so it does come off, um, there, is, this is what the concealer looks like. Um, when it comes off, it's like a little goes a long way with this concealer. So I just took like about a drop and I'm just spreading it evenly on both sides of my face. And you can see that under my eyes, it's like a little... How do I say this? It's just uh, dull. So the concealer is meant to just brighten up your face. So that concealer that I put, the drop that I put, should be enough for your whole face. If you put too much, you're gonna end up highlighting all the way till down here. And when you do that, you're making your face look wider. And you definitely don't want that. Um, this is sort of what gives um, my face that sort of like defined look. I have a very round face, but because I've mastered contouring and highlighting for the shape of my face, um, it gives off that look as if like it's chiseled. That's why it's important to understand your own head shape and what works for your face. So my um, forehead, is not that um, huge, but I generally just don't like too much light on my forehead, so I'll avoid highlighting my forehead. So like I told you, this product is quite thick. So I'm gonna be spreading that evenly around my mouth. And then we go under the eye. Do you see how I'm just keeping it in the center and in the inner? I'm not taking it all the way down here. Please do not avoid like doing that. And then the reason why I look down is because then your eyelid sort of goes all the way up. It gives you enough time to blend it up so it doesn't crease. 
because if you do this then um, all of the skin is folded and pretty much just gathered there and then what I do is when I go up my nose when I go up the bridge of my nose I usually take that excess product and I spread it out just at the top of my brow here but I don't necessarily apply product so now we are gonna go and contour and I'm gonna be using the Lancome also um, this is in the shade cafe right but this is quite dark so you actually don't even need a lot when you apply this so i literally squeeze out i don't know if you guys can see that can you see that amount at the edge of the that's the amount i'm going to use and i'm going to draw a line going down over there I don't know if you, can, if you guys can see that line. Let me do it on this side. That line over there. And because this product, I don't know, it's like so concentrated, a little goes a long way. Then I'm just gonna use the excess on the perimeters of my face. Like that and because this one's quite dark i'm not gonna use any on my nose i'm just gonna powder um contour my nose now we are gonna take a stippling brush and i usually use my mac 180 and i'm just gonna use that to blend this out can you see how dark that is and i only applied a little bit so what I actually like about these um, cream contours is that they actually blend with other products well. So that's how you really uh, can tell if a concealer is good, by how well it blends with the foundation. If it mixes up and picks up the foundation and moves it around, then you definitely need to run away from that foundation because at the end of the day, after you've um, contoured and highlighted, your face will just look like a puddle of mud um so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna quickly now move on to setting my face another way to test concealer is how well it's it mixes with a powder product you can see my face looks quite oily at the moment that's because you know i have an oily face and the natural radiant long way does have this sort of radiant glow to it which you can obviously then reduce by using your um, setting powder. So I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is the lid of the powder. And I don't take, so I take this much on the beauty blender. And I'm just going to spread that out. and look down so that you can avoid that creasing see the difference between the one side already and the other we're gonna do the same on the other side there we go so I'm, I'm basically setting every single spot where I highlighted now I'm gonna go around my mouth and this is how I do it I have to shut my mouth for this Um, you can see the shape of my face that I'm trying to achieve is coming together now and I am now also going to set a bit of my forehead just to get rid of that shine now when your face is like this there are certain parts of your face that still have that excess oil from your um, foundation or just your face if you have oily skin now I take the beauty blender and I just press everywhere else and this just helps pick up the um, yeah pick up the oil and then i'm just gonna not forgetting your nose you basically want to sit where you had highlighted and this is where i usually like bake 
because my nose is super oily so I'll let it sit and in most cases I'll bake the sides as well because if you have oily skin like me then this is a necessity okay now now to set my contour I usually use like a compact powder now because they sent us this um uh, long lasting mattifying powder let me see what the claims are um it says it sets your makeup with this set your makeup with this invisible loose setting powder it controls excess oil for a shine free look with no drying effect or extra coverage if you guys hear a loud noise that's the helper um it's perfectly weightless the powder blurs imperfection increases foundation wear and preserves color while leaving the skin soft and comfortable in a flawless matte finish okay so so because this i can't use to set my under eye because that's too dark like deep is just too dark i'm going to be using this to sort of like bronze my face and set my contour so i'm going to be bringing it in oh it's, it's a very nice warm color Mm, can you see how warm that looks so let me do this on the other side so you can see so I'm gonna just dust that there definitely that's a nice warm color this brings back the warmth and dimension in our face after we've highlighted you want to bring this high higher into your cheekbones that's what I usually do and then I also bring it down on my neck Then I am going to take a smaller brush and use that for my nose to contour. So, because uh, this is powder, you just need to be careful how you apply it. So, you're just going to stroke it there, stroke it there, like that. Take it all the way up. I usually take this all the way up to meet my brow and then I blend it out on the side so I don't have a harsh line mm. I know a lot of people struggle with the nose contour because it's either too much or barely there but if you practice eventually you will master having that great contour nose okay so that is that I am going to finish the rest of my face now, so I'm going to go back into the Julius palette um, and then I'm going to take, I don't know if I should take the purple or the pink, I am going to take my eyeshader, my 315 eyeshader brush, uh, this is from Beauty Treat, so I think I'm going to take the pink and I'm just going to shade that under my eye. Now I'm just going to finish off my face for you guys, but I'm going to dust off this excess powder with my powder brush, if I can find it. So I'm going to dust this off. I'm going to use my Gosh um, the Rebel Eyes Mascara. Ooh. now for blush you guys know i kept on raving about how i wanted a peachy um peach blush so i discovered this one from floma and yeah it's it's been applying greatly so i'm gonna use that for my cheeks so you just want to smile and bring it up that's what i do smile bring it up it's such a nice peachy color that I don't even feel too bad when I put too much and it's got like a natural glow I don't know what it is but there's something about it and this is in the shade 
rose gold so it's called blush on rose gold and then to highlight my face i'm also going to be using flormas terracotta powder in peachy pink um so i'm just gonna use my brush and sweep that at the highest points of my face And I am going to do that for the tip of my nose. And my eyes. So I'm going to be using the liquid matte lips from Gosh. And this is the shade Nougat Crisp. But this. I've tried the other version of this lipstick. It really doesn't go on that man. Now to finish off this makeup look, I'm going to use the Lancome Fix It Forget It Makeup Setting Mist. And it does say it has non stick. It's non sticky, it's oil free. Mm. Let's see the claims. Uh, makeup stays true to color and complexion fresh. Long wear up to 24 hours. Am I reading the right thing? Yeah. Ultra lightweight, mists evenly, non sticky, doesn't settle into fine lines. Um, wrinkles or pores, deflects and protects the skin. Infused with plant extracts, which is kiwi, moringa seed, and witch hazel. Contains hyaluronic acid, oil and fragrance free, paraben and silicone free. Okay, so this is great. So if you guys can notice that my face is kind of like glowy in a way. And I do guess it's because of this um, fixing spray. Because with most fixing spray that I've used, like if I use like my lasting fix or my um, Maybelline, um, no my L'Oreal fixing mist i do notice that it will look very um sort of matte um and the shine is not there but then i guess with this one uh, I'm, not, I'm i don't understand why my face seems a bit shiny i don't know if it's because i'm wearing the nars natural radiant long way because it does have a radiant vibe to it but this is how this setting spray would set your face so for someone that's looking for that um not so matte look i would highly recommend this especially if you have dry skin um i don't know if i would recommend this for someone with oily skin because i don't know how this will sit um uh, on my face i am obviously going to upload this video um before i because i've got a busy day so i won't have time to get back to you guys on how my face looks but i will leave a message in the description box so you guys know how this lasted on my face um, in terms of this powder, this is a great setting powder, uh, long time no shine, so I can see all the areas where I sit with this, there definitely isn't any shine, so I definitely would consider, consider even getting the lighter shade for setting my under eye, so I'm not sure how much these products are, so I will google them right now and I will let you know. The concealers i am quite happy but this is a bit too dark for me i would go um and the undertone this is like very chocolatey i would go for something that is more neutral and not so dark a shade that is close to my black opal suede marker i don't know if you can see that versus this and the difference so i tend to be drawn to this shade of contour because i don't want my contour to be striking dark so if you apply too much of this you would have a very striking dark um sort of uh, contour when it comes to the concealer i am really happy with the shade but what i have noticed is that if you do apply too much of this specific color i don't know if it's 
I don't know if it's the color or what it is if you apply too much of it because it's quite thick you will have the um, sort of like a gray cast looking thing so I will say a little goes a long way with this one and I think that is about it it's the setting spray the powder and the concealers these four products so basically i wasn't able to review the foundation for you guys um i did receive the foundation so i did receive the foundation but unfortunately they did send me a shade like four shades too dark so i will definitely review this for you guys as soon as i get my hands on the right shade for my skin tone because i've gotten a lot of requests for that even though i know a lot of people have been using this it's not a new foundation on the market um sometime last year but yeah so i'm definitely excited to try that one out i hope this review was helpful in some sort of way when you are now shopping for your next setting powder or your fixing powder or a concealer um this is kind of very high end so um it might not accommodate everyone's pocket